That's it for cup number one. Just about ready for cup number two. But first, how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. Angel from No Man's Apothecary, No Man's Exchange on YouTube. And today, we're talking about empty cups of coffee and something everybody needs once the temperatures start dropping. And that's a nice American made selvage denim jacket. So, alright, so this is the Brave Star Badlands jacket made in 12.5 ounce natural cone mills denim out of Green Greensboro, North Carolina. And uh this is actually my second jacket of this this same well mostly same makeup the only difference being the contrast stitching on this release that they that uh that, well they just released last week um the the brave star badlands is a it's, it's a type 2 jacket but it is it's modified so it's kind of like in between a type 1 and a type 2 so I, I'm not going to get into all the details because I'm no expert on vintage denim. Um, this is clearly not a repro, but it is a modified version of our favorite denim jackets that, you know, Levi's started. So one of my favorite things about this is that, so you've got these, these, uh, these pockets on the outside and very useful. But what I like the most is the interior pocket of the Badlands. You got this huge pocket right here. And you could put anything in there. I mean, I could I could uh I could do a shameless plug and be like, hey, you got the the rustic tea, you know? And uh available at noblemansapothecary.com. But when I'm done talking about it, I can just be like, hey. You know? And just go about my day. Uh, this jacket is, it's got a nice boxy square shape to it. But it's still quite flattering. Still quite flattering. Huh? And of course, that's with my rustic tea in there. So let me button her up. Let me get down to eye level with the camera. Okay, there we go. I'll do some more B-roll of me wearing it from afar. But uh not too bad and it's not it's not uh not restrictive at all the uh 12.5 ounce denim um it i mean i don't know it looks like a broken twill i didn't even look at the product description <laughs> i did look at the original one but i don't remember what it said um but it's a 12.5 extremely flexible um and so i would consider this a layerable garment so you could wear this under another jacket and it's still very comfortable um, out here in Arizona Southwest doesn't get very cold and you really don't need to layer jackets um, obviously that's my opinion you don't need to but you can so I'm really loving this this has the, the contrast stitching and I told you this was my second one my first one is the original Badlands 
in the 12.5 ounce and so it's the same denim same textile but they used uh, tonal stitching so stitching is not a contrast stitching it's a tonal stitching same color as the garment itself and um, I, I just fell in love with this jacket from the utilitarian aspect of these huge interior pockets um, and just just the overall kind of vintage appearance that it gives um, the square boxy just very uh, just a very comfortable trucker jacket to wear my other favorite thing about this jacket is the triple stitching of course I give you the tonal stitched jacket to uh, to give you a hard time seeing it I'll take off my newer one that triple stitching all throughout the seams the sleeves the shoulders um, yes just incredible just incredible jacket incredible fit incredibly fitting non-restrictive it's just a great overall jacket and easy to get fades reverse fades on <laughs> now let's talk about another one this one's uh this is a heavy weight the iron side based off this is a uh, 17 ounce hatch attack uh so very dark indigo dye and as you can see i'm struggling with these buttons not fully broken in yet I've given this one about a week and a half of moderate use, not everyday use, because it's still fairly warm. So this is the morning and the evening jacket, but even more so the fire pit jacket. This is the jacket I wear when we're hanging out by the fire pit here in the backyard. Extremely well made, extremely durable selvage denim jacket. So again, type three, so you got the hand warmer pockets got the breast pockets I'll put it on for you guys here let me unbutton it and put it on yeah. but that's something you see me struggling with those buttons that's something uh, pretty uh, pretty common with a heavyweight denim so you got the interior so the ID and then what I like about the iron side is they've built in and reinforced the interior pocket um, on this type 3 so you can really get to use those interior pockets incredible so we got the honeycombs forming on the inside here I will uh, I'll do some close-up work maybe maybe I don't know see how I feel but I just wanted to give you guys another quick and dirty on this one let me uh let me button it up but bef before i button it up so the back po these interior pockets here they're not uh, as quite as spacious as the inside of the badlands jacket you see that one it's roomy i mean you could like a, you saw me fit a whole shirt rolled up a large t-shirt rolled up um this one let's see same shirt a little tight but it fits it fits in there you know I'm not sure who's rolling around with extra t-shirts um, but this one goes in no problem you could probably fit another another shirt in that same pocket of the Badlands jacket but the iron side I like because it has the hand warmer pockets and because they usually release these and well they usually release heavyweight denim jackets in the iron side cut not sure if they've ever done one in the steadfast or the badlands i've only seen um i've only seen heavyweight i did have the 21.5 ounce in this um it was a little too much for me but only because i live in arizona so 17.5 ounce or 17 ounce hatch attack 17 ounce and it's a it's a loose weave so it's gonna breathe a little bit better um, but I'm loving this one here just incredible 
see how long it takes me so these buttons are always a pain anytime you get anything above like 15 ounces whether it's jeans jackets ugh. and i want to say most brands are the same but anything in a heavyweight denim these buttonholes really have to be broken in and kind of stretched out you should, i couldn't even button it up the first day ugh. so there you go Sitting in the shade, so you're probably not getting the quite as good of a. Yeah, I'm not sure how the exposure is sitting right now, but it's uh, I could still do the wave in this thing. I could still get down if I need to. <laughs> so this is about as heavy as I'd go with the denim jacket in Arizona. Again, I said I had the 21.5 ounce spectacular denim. They make great jeans. I have. I've had four pairs of the 21.5 ounce by Brave Star Selvage. The left hand twill, just incredible. The left hand twill breaks in so easily. And it actually feels like this 17 ounce, which uh, I don't know if it's a left or right hand, probably a right hand but um, twill, but it's a loose weave and it's, it's definitely breaking in fairly easy. This one's a little more form fitting than the Badlands. The Badlands is a little more square, a little more boxy. So, yeah, man. I just got both of these jackets within a week of each other. And I got rid of my other jackets from them. Passed them on to some good homes, some good friends on Instagram. And, uh, yeah, now it's time to break these in and get these faded, get them dirty, and just put them to use. Now, I will probably be... So, I'm going to be keeping this one. This is a size large. I'm six foot three, 195 pounds. This one's also a size large. And, uh, but this one here, let me put this one on just to kind of show you how uh, six foot three, 195 pounds, eh, fits in a, yeah. in an extra large. I believe that the Badlands, in my opinion, the Badlands is the most comfortable fitting jacket. Um, it's, it's the, I think it's the most boxy shape, so it's really generous fitting. Might throw this one on the bay, on the eBay's or the Poshmark, and see if anybody's interested in grabbing this one because this jacket is incredible. I love it. Again, you got your humongous interior pocket let's throw a shirt in there just to show you guys large shirt fits in there no problem and um, it probably fit my boot in this other one it's how big fit a swashbuckler boot in there no problem <laughs> so those are a couple of my brave star selvage it, American made selvage denim jackets. I think everybody needs a good quality denim jacket. It doesn't have to be selvage. I prefer if it's American made, but you get what you can get. eBay, the secondary market, is a great source for buying American made products at a at a lower cost. However, Brave Star Selvage has probably the best pricing on American made products, quality products. So give them a look, see, at bravestarselvage.com. They do have microfinancing options also, so you can break down your purchase into four payments. The quality, the rigidity, the durability, and the, con the consistent level of customer service. And they're just, they're there, they're here with us. They're easy to get a hold of. Mick, shout out to you. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Remember to stay noble, stay safe, shop small.